What up, everybody? You're watching New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. The New York Knicks defeated the Miami Heat last night, a big win to pretty much clinch that fifth spot in the Eastern Conference, but it did not come all with good news. The bad news is Julius Randle did leave last night's game with a couple of minutes left in the second quarter, went up for a rebound, came down, rolled his ankle. Hard to tell if he actually landed on Bam Adebayo's foot from the angles that MSG showed, but it definitely did not look good for Julius. Came down, rolled his ankle, went to the ground, immediately started grabbing his ankle. He was in obviously obvious pain. He was grimacing. He could not get up for a little bit. And then when he did get up, he tried to walk it off and limp it off. And I was saying during the live stream last night, as we go live for every single game day, we do watch parties. I was like, he doesn't want to come out of the game. And you could tell he was doing everything he possibly could to not come out of this game. He was walking around. He was limping around, trying to shake it off. We know Julius Randle is tough. No doubt about that. Hadn't missed a game so far this year. But I think that might be coming to an end. He stayed in the game to shoot those two foul shots, kind of like when Kobe Bryant tore his Achilles. You know, Julius is a big fan of Kobe. He said he's a guy that he's looked up to in the league before, came into the league with the Lakers. Kobe was there. There's some ties there. Tried to do his best. Kobe Bryant impersonation went to the line, but immediately was subbed out after and did not return to the ball game, which makes me feel like this is serious. And that is probably the worst news you could get for the New York Knicks on March 30th with the playoffs two weeks away. Julius Randle, even though, transparency here, I'm not the biggest fan of his game, has had an amazing season. He deserves all NBA votes. He probably will be an all NBA player. And with the Knicks, potentially without him for maybe Friday's game against the Cleveland Cavaliers or Sunday's game against the Washington Wizards, that's going to be a little bit of a blow. And sometimes these ankle injuries can be tricky. And sometimes they don't actually really go away for a couple of months and you got to play through a banged up ankle. And we might be having to face that reality with Julius Randle. Uh, there was a video that's on my Twitter. You can go check it out at Marshall Green underscore. He's walking through like the tunnel where the players enter the court. And right once he got into the tunnel where the fans couldn't really see him anymore, he basically collapsed and went on the ground and was holding his ankle. He's hurt. That he's not injured. I don't know what the saying is or hurt or injured, but he's he's not 100%. That ankle is probably extremely swelled up this morning. I bet Julius Randle, as we record this on Thursday morning, is already rehabbing that ankle. And the Knicks need him out there. As much as we like to think that Randle is a guy that, you know, makes the ball movement go down and doesn't always huff, hustle on defense. He does so many good things for this team, and the Knicks would not be where they are at without Julius Randle. And they may have to face life for the first time this year, what that may be like. Jalen Brunson on Julius Randle last night when speaking to the media, he said, I know Julius is a fighter. He's a competitor. He's going to do everything he can to make sure he's ready to go, but I'm not that concerned. That's a little bit of a bright spot right there, but that sounds more like Jalen Brunson just trying to hype up Julius Randle. Um, so I just want to get the comment section going. Let's drop those 30s. Julius Randall's number in the comment section to show him some love. Let's get the 30s flowing. Let's get him back. We need him healthy. This team needs him no matter how you feel about him. You need him. The Knicks need him. If they want to go where they want to go this playoffs, they want to win a playoff series, they're going to need number 30 on the court wearing blue and orange. So drop those 30s down in the comment section. Show our guy Julius Randle some love. What this might mean for the New York Knicks, probably going to be out a game or two, maybe a week or two, maybe the rest of the regular season. Maybe he doesn't come back until April 15th when the Knicks are in the first round of the playoffs, hopefully with that fifth seed playing against the Cleveland Cavaliers. But it means more minutes for Obi Toppin. At least that's what you would think, right? He started the second half, but he didn't really play much. Started the second half, uh, he gave up two open looks to Kevin Love from three right away, and Tom Thibodeau took a timeout after two defensive possessions. And then he didn't come back into the game. I don't remember exactly if he came out after those two first possessions. I think he stuck in for a little while, but he did not return from the game. He only played 17 minutes, so Obi Toppin is not going to be your Julius Randle replacement, even if Tom Thibodeau tells you how much he trusts him. This is what Tom Thibodeau said 
on if Julius Randle misses time. He says, we have a lot of confidence in Obi. I don't think you do, Tom. I don't think you do. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in Josh Hart at the four. We know Jericho can play the four as well. It's different, but it's still very effective. And that's what I said at halftime. If you were watching the live stream last night on the channel, I said, sure, Obi Toppin's probably going to see a little bit of an increase in minutes, but I don't expect him to be a guy that's going to be playing Julius Randle's minutes. I'm expecting more of a small ball lineup with Robinson or Hartenstein at the five and then some combination of Brunson, Quickly, Hart, Grimes, and Barrett rotating in at that one through four spot. And that's what we saw. That closing lineup with the Knicks played well. No Jalen Brunson either, which is definitely something to monitor as well. Don't know if he is 100% yet from the foot that he's dealing with and the hand that he's dealing with was wearing a protective soft cast. Um, this team's banged up right now. Julius is hurt. How long is he going to miss? I don't know. Once we get an update, we'll get another video out. Jalen Brunson, he's missed some time this year. Um, coming across this clip right now, Emmanuel quickly says Julius Randle was in good spirits after the game and after his injury and that's what you need. That's what you need. You need Randall back out there. No doubt about it. But I'm expecting maybe for Josh Hart to be inserted into the starting lineup while Julius Randall is gone. Maybe it is Obi Toppin, but I don't think Obi Toppin is a Tom Thibodeau type of player. And I think we've seen that through the first couple of years of his NBA career. Tom Thibodeau does not trust Obi Toppin on the defensive side of the court. He does not trust him to get on the bat, on the on the boards and, and, and box out and attack the glass. What is Obi Toppin at this point in his career? I've watched every Nick game this year. He hardly attacks the rim. He hardly puts the ball on the floor unless it's a dribble handoff. He doesn't get involved in any pick and roll, pick and pop action. He's a catch and shoot three point player and a fast break run out cherry picker in the fast break and throws it down. Um, it's what he is. Doesn't play defense. Um, and that's why I don't think that he's going to be the guy that's really going to be the Julius Randle replacement while he's gone. Oh, Knicks could not afford for Julius Randle to miss time. Sure, um, they can have him miss a couple of games. Maybe you rest him until the playoffs because from the Knicks' last game of the regular season – which is, I'm going to get the date exactly right here, April 9th. They don't play again maybe until April 16th or April 15th. That's about a week off. Maybe he doesn't play again this regular season. If the Knicks have five games to go, maybe they rest him and he, and he comes back then. They need him. Uh, they need him. Uh, Ian Begley said, New York Knicks teammates checked in with Julius Randle after the game. Emmanuel quickly said Randle was a good spirits. Uh, I don't know the severity of the Randall ankle sprains, what it sounds like. I know it was bad just by the reaction when they showed the replay, but he was in good spirits. Let's hope that Julius Randall is okay. Um, this team's, they're not going anywhere without him. He is so impair, important to this offense. The tough shot making, the tough shot taking, the ability to get a shot off and be a good basketball player, really. Just the offense that he brings to this team is, is something they need. If we get more news and info on Randall, we'll put a video out later today. If you made this far in the video, hit that thumbs up icon and drop those 30s down in the comment section. And let me know, are you concerned about the Julius Randall injury? Let's chop it up in the comment section.